Alright, so let's do this vicarious views and talk about the proper use of time and how time, when they say time is money, if you actually calculate time is money, you will realize that a lot of time and energy goes into activities that does not yield a return. And the return doesn't have to necessarily be a return of mon a monetary return, but it should be a return that is expected. Instead of you turn around and you say, where does the time go? So, you were doing a calculation earlier. What was the calculation? Do you remember? Uh, yes. The calculation was, um, we started off with 10 cents. Okay. So, 10 cents. So, let's say that your time, not even your time, I'm sorry, your energy is worth 10 cents per calorie that you put out. Okay. So, you're putting energy out and we're calculating it based on calories. So, roughly the energy on a one hour is between 200 and 250 calories burned and that's if you're just doing normal activity if you're doing rigorous activity you're gonna burn more exactly alright so let's say you're doing about 250 calories that's burned in a conversation over the phone okay so if I multiply that by 10 cents what do you get $25. $25. $25. So that one hour should have yielded $25 or at least a satisfaction that, you know what, I spent that time, it was well spent. How many of you had had time that you spent on a conversation and you want to end the conversation, but the conversation just keeps dragging on and on and on? That conversation costed you $25. They didn't even offer you lunch. And probably just added more drama to your life that you didn't need. They actually might have burned you more <laughs> calories. You might have spent more calories in that conversation. So you put out and you didn't get back your $25. Nope. So say you do that all day. So not even all day, but let's say you find yourself in a conversation, different conversations, back to back, four hours worth of conversations. How much would that cost you? That's $100. $100 and then you do that and you get caught up in these things for 20 days out of the month. How much is that? So let's say that's $20,000. Well, not 20000 right? Because it would be... 100 Times 20. Times 20. $100 times 20 days. My bad. $2,000. $2,000 of conversations that yielded you no return. Mm. So that's something to think about because you literally don't have the time or energy because at the end of the month you have to now pay bills and the person who you spent the time with did not have the courtesy to even help pay your cell phone bill <laughs> they didn't take you to lunch they didn't pay your cell phone bill and might get pissed off because you don't want to take their calls anymore so send them a bill send them a bill as a matter of fact you don't even send them the bill after the conversation what do you do well, you can say, hey, before we start this conversation, I charge. <laughs> well, how would you charge? 10 cents. 10 cents, not 10 cents a minute, but 10 cents uh, a what? Calorie burn. A calorie burn. And so there's ways of measuring that, and it may sound a little snooty, but it doesn't sound snooty when the cell phone company says, we're going to need you to pay that $100 a month. Well, if you sit down and you really think about it, and you, you start calculating these conversations and how much money was wasted if you were to put a value to your energy and if time to put a value. then you would be like wait a minute hold up right because we only did monthly now multiply 2,000 times 12 well that's $24,000 so $24,000 in time wasted and that is actually more than poverty so if you're in poverty and you're spending $24,000 worth of time in conversation, then that means you're actually poor in energy, poor in money, and poor in conversation and poor in thought. But you've enriched someone with your time. Yeah, you've enriched them, but what have you gained for yourself? 
So you have to be very mindful with what these com these conversations that you're having. What is the value of the conversations? Yeah, no value to the conversation, then what's up? What's up? So that's a vicarious view. Something to think about while you're taking in some of these beautiful views that there are views that are mental that you should take in as well. Exactly. And thank you for sharing that because that is a very good point of view. It's an interesting perspective. Exactly. And if you want to be able to get set up, um, definitely don't email us or call us. Go to the website because in order for those conversations to happen, we definitely charge a little bit more than 10 cents a calorie. But you have to be a member. Go to familygovernmentagency.com become a member and we can have the conversations edifying conversations edifying conversations vicarious views ask kashab alexandra hughes dahawam kashab enjoying some beach and some views peace